us there. Uh, can we say that the presence of Satan to tempt uh, uh, Eve, and of course Adam, was part of God's plan? Because I think this is an age-old question. Uh, this, this is really puzzling situation. Because if that is the case, uh, if God allowed uh, uh, Satan's presence there in the Garden of Eden, then why? Meaning, uh, that means God already knows that uh, Adam and Eve would fall into that temptation. So could you please clarify on this or explain on this uh, further? No. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, 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 we have to be a little bit careful in 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 trying to to fully um, interpret the 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 nature of God's providence. Um, I, I I know some of you some of you who may have been here before when I have lectured here. You've asked me about um, uh, forgive the phrase infralapsarian or supralapsarian, and where do how do we fit into these things and. Uh, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit dismissive of that because we're trying to we're trying to answer answer questions where we have to act by faith. As I've just been saying, God was encouraging Adam and Eve to to say that what God says is always good and right and pure and holy, and that they should obey God without without arguing. And I think there are things in our theology in the same way where we have to just say we cannot understand, we cannot fully reconcile these two. Um, we, we also have to ask the question, um, when did Satan fall? If God began the creation with a six, with a seven, six day creation, then when was, uh, when was, when were the angels created? When did Satan fall? And there are, there are strong and exegetical reasons, and I, I don't want to go into them now because it would take far too long to say that Satan probably fell on the day before or just about the time that Adam and Eve fell. So he was thrown out of heaven and in his anger, he goes to God's perfect creation in order to spoil it, to bring his influence to bear upon it. Now, I'm not saying therefore that God was taken by surprise by what happened and God didn't know. I'm not saying that at all. But there is a there is a strong case to be argued that this all happened fairly quickly, one thing after the other, um, if 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 uh, if if we understand what we do understand about creation in that way, um, you know, we're not talking about uh, evolution. Says it was millions of years. You know, well then, there was plenty of time. The angels were, may well have been created a long time ago, but there is quite a strong exegetical sense to to believe that. So it's it, I, I'm not. I'm not, it's very difficult to impute God with, with when you listen to the, the message on, on evil, you will see what I have to say about that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the devil's action, the devil was rebelling against God. The devil was acting in his own responsibility. God's sovereignty and man's responsibility are two important points. We mustn't confuse the two. But also is God's sovereignty and the devil's responsibility we might say the devil is limited in the same way that we are all right he's more powerful than us but he is limited um now that's not entirely answering your question but i'm throwing out a few ideas for you to think through uh, and develop and understand I, I hope that helps yeah in a very in a very quick answer yeah yeah thank you okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Let's have, um, can we just have um, six minutes, eight minutes, um, come back at three o'clock, according to my.